ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? You catch me behind a FedEx lorry, okay. I'm just gonna sneak by there, buddy. I am waiting for him, sorry. Uh, yeah, this, ro this road's had a bit of roadworks for a while now and it's just causing havoc. There's no through a road, so you can't, you have to go around this diversion, which is a nightmare. But um, yeah, what's been happening? So, as the title suggests, I'm off to the mechanic. Um, it's nothing major, uh, just on Saturday while I was going down to London, I was going to go to Ace Caf, uh, I was down there just buying some bits for Airsoft. Um, the bike had its first, I guess, mechanical fail. Uh, it blew a fork seal. Only the left side, didn't blow both, luckily, or else I wouldn't be riding it still. Um, yeah, some pictures up on the screen now. It's, it blew, so yeah, blew the fork seal on Saturday, which was fun to discover. It also then blew all its indicators, so Sunday I had to diagnose what was causing that. Turns out just some WD-40 squirted into the switch gear, seemed to fix it. So I guess some water must have got in there and froze. Uh, we've had a few minus like five, six, and seven days lately. So yeah, um, the fork seals. I told a mechanic on Saturday, I, I literally rang him up and I was recording. Um, but when I saw the fork seals go and the indicators, I started losing my mind and just instantly ran the mechanic and just, uh, I deleted the video. I was, I was having a bit of a hissy fit. I, I wasn't happy. But um, anyway, so I rang the mechanic and he said, yep, he ordered the parts in. Uh, he should have them for Monday, so I went in there Monday, he didn't have them. I went in Tuesday, he didn't have them. A again, delays because it, uh, we've had some freak weather in the UK lately. Specif um, especially up north where his supplier is. So, I went to arrive Tuesday, he didn't. Wednesday, I finally, I rang him up, I said, have you got the parts? He says, I'm, I'm order 48, like delivery 48. ETA between two and three, so I was like, fantastic, I finished work at three o'clock, I'll come right over. I left work a little bit early, got there for three o'clock, and the tracking still showed out for delivery, um, hadn't changed. So I don't know if the van had a breakdown or the tracking had a bit shit itself or what. So this is now Thursday. So what, that's five days um, since they've blown. What, so what, let me figure out. Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, five days. Um, and we're still leaking oil, so there's still some oil left, but it can't be good for the bloody things. I did ask my mechanic, like, I'm not damaging the bike, riding it still. He's like, no, 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 you still have the other fork. Um, the right fork is still good. And it's like a shared system, but uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it feels a bit, it feels dodgy. It definitely feels a lot more springy at the front now, because obviously it's not being dampened as much. But today, fingers crossed, this is the final getting it fixed. He said it should be about a two hour job on this bike. Because it's a bit of a heifer, a bit of a heavy bike. But anyway, besides the bike throwing that spanner in the works, what's been happening? Um, my China fairings are still en route. They should be here either next week or the week after. I'm debating strapping the GoPro to my head and sort of doing a step-by-step -step teardown of the bike. You know, show you how how to take apart a ZZR and sort of what it looks like. I guess strip down to its strip down to its bare bits. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm still thinking that through. I'm I'm, I'm bad enough commentating on the bike. I'm, I can't even think of things to think of. But I'm just stood staring at the thing. <laughs> so we'll see. Other things, I may be upgraded, this may be the last video on the GoPro Hero 7. So I use a GoPro Hero 7 Black, uh, and then for recording my voice, so the audio you're hearing now, I use a Purple Panda Lavier mic connected to a Zoom H1N audio recorder. I know, like, very... I'm throwing all my, my secrets out there. God. Um, an issue with this setup is, I have to sync the audio every time I start the camera, obviously. Yes, I have to sync it to the zoom setup which is fine for, if i'm doing trips like this you know I, it's a, i'm about 15 minutes away from a mechanic so it's a pretty easy, easy trip but for things where i want to like stop recording because it's just motorway and then come back once something interesting happens i can't just turn the gopro off and then turn it back on again because how am i going to sync the audio track up I, I have to i would have to pull over and then stop both and then set off it's just a lot of hassle I don't really want to be doing that, so I may be upgrading to either GoPro Hero 9 or 10. I'm, I'm de it's definitely going to be like one of those two. So the, the Hero A I don't like because you can't change the lens. 
So if that gets damaged, the, the camera's fucked. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. Because uh, everyone knows a camera with a damaged lens, what, what, what's the point? So it has to be a 9 or 10 because they have swappable lenses. Uh, weirdly, they're about the same sort of price second hand. So I'm trying to find a good second hand 9 or 10. I can't find one by like payday, so that's the 30th of uh, this month, I think, or 30th, I think it's next Tuesday basically. If I can't find a good used one uh, by then, I may just buy a new Hero 10 from GoPro because they're only about, only about £240. And used prices are about 160, 170. But like when I say used, I mean Facebook Marketplace. I don't, I don't like buying from Facebook Marketplace. I've, I've got quite a good few. I've got quite a few good deals from there, but it's still a bit dodgy. Like especially with cameras and technical gear, because cameras have glitches, right? I, I've had Sony action cameras. I've had these GoPros. I've had knockoffs. Every now and then, even this GoPro Hero 7 will just like SD card error and just give up. Um, and if someone's selling a camera, yeah, it could be because it's having more, them more often than not. And I don't, I don't like that idea. Sorry if it's windy, by the way. It's a 70 road. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't want to buy a second hand and just have that risk that someone's selling it because it's a lemon. You can also hear my voice how bumpy the suspension is now with just one strap, one fork, I guess. It's kind of horrible. So yeah, that's what's been happening. The bike had its first hiccup, I guess. Uh, camera may be, may be getting upgraded soon. The audio will obviously be changing as well. I'll be using the... Uh, so the GoPro Hero 9 to 11, I think the 12 can as well, I'm not sure. Use a media mod? I'll put that on screen for those who just aren't aware. Well, basically you, it connects, it plugs into the camera and lets you plug in a three and a half mil jack. Uh, the 5 to 7, the, so the GoPro 5 to 7, you have to use like this really janky looking adapter. I, I've used one in the past on my, like, if you go back on my old videos of the VFR. Um, and it didn't last long. It lasted about, I think, three months. Um, and then the rain killed it off. Obviously, I'm not really vlogging much in the rain now, but it is England. It does rain. And that uh, adapter thing was like £50, I want to say, from GoPro. And you have to use their adapter, you can't just use like a USB-C to three and a half, it has to be a GoPro one. Because it has some proprietary bloody encoder in there, I'm assuming. Which I really hate, I really don't like that, but that's, I, you know, I don't, they want more money, I can't blame them. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so the five to seven use that jank adapter, the nine onwards use a medium mod. So I want to use the medium mod. It just, it looks a lot more waterproof. So, I may even start recording in 4K if I get that, because the reason I don't record in 4K on this current camera is it only does 4K 30 frames a second. I like the crispness of, uh, of 60 frames a second. And the GoPro 9 and 10 can both do 4K 60 frames a second, so that may be the new video format if I do upgrade. I also do 5K, but I think my computer would melt if I tried rendering 5K. I oh, don't know why the road works. Oh, yeah, hello. Hello. Okay. Someone just tried calling me. I don't. What? <laughs> yeah, hello. I'm riding my motorbike. How can I help? Okay, bye. Okay, I think I just got a telemarketer. <laughs> telemarketer's like, I'll let you go now, goodbye. It's like, uh, okay. Well, that was fun. That's what's starting to rain. Uh, let's see, what else, what else is in my brain before I got telemarketed? Uh, oh, videos. Yeah, so I'm trying to get into a somewhat stable upload schedule. I want to try upload every two weeks, maybe every three weeks. I don't want to keep doing just trips to work and back because, I mean, let's be honest, that's what I do most of the time and I'll be kind of boring after a while. But yeah, do expect more videos. I am trying to sort of... It's getting warmer again. It's, it, the minus degrees have started off. 
Gute Neues. And yeah, I'm still planning to go to bike meets and events and such. I'm just trying to blow the channel up, you know? It'd be kind of cool. Oh, another thing. Uh, before I ram into the back of someone. I don't know if you've noticed in the shot. Look at this. I've, got, I, I've picked myself up on Facebook Marketplace. I know I was talking about deals earlier. Look, this is one of them. It's my, my leather bags to tank cover. <laughs> Uh, and property China fairings obviously being the wrong colour because no matter how much China says it'll be black, Kawasaki black, it won't be. <laughs> it'll be some some different variant. Uh, obviously I'm not painting the tank because I've got a rattle can and it'll just look horrible. So I wanted to disguise that the tank is a different colour to the fairings. So I put this bags to cover on and <sighs> honestly I think it makes the bike look really cool. I'll I, I slap some pictures up on like side shots. It adds like a bit of a bit of depth to the bike, you know, it looks kind of cool. And it does have a function, so you, these two clips at the front, and there's two clips at the back. I don't know if I'm able to get them on, on shot without crashing into the back of the car. <laughs> um, you can attach a Bagster like, cov um, tank bag on, and I, I ordered the 12-litre uh, one, and then, again, I'll throw a picture up. It looks kind of horrible, but it's like having a second backpack sort of strapped to your tank. It's, it's super handy for a... Um, not even just like camera gear, I could fit my entire like work kit in there, so that's my lunch, my drinks, it's, it's kind of handy. Won't be on the bike very often, because again, it's kind of ugly, but hey, I thought, I thought that was a good example of a good Facebook marketplace deal. Facebook's good for the sort of stuff like, like, like this, it's just a leather cover, you can't really get scammed on a leather cover, it's not electrical, so... I also 3D printed this little center cap just to get rid of the foam mount. I may put the foam mount back on. It is I've lived with it now without without having a foam mount for a few weeks, and uh, I don't know. I have my phone in my jacket pocket right now, and it's sort of stabbing me in the chest. <laughs> I could put it in a jean pocket, but then I'll probably snap it in half. The, having it on the bars is quite handy, but I don't know. I like I like the clean look. You can see my keys rattling around and <laughs> all that excitement. God, the road surface here is crap. So yeah, besides dodgy Facebook market deals and uh, the bike sort of shitting itself, it's been all right. It's been an okay start to 2024. Go on, pull out. No. Fucking lorry pulls out of okay. I'm in no rush. I said the mechanic said that um, the mechanic picks his dogs up between one and two, or half one and two. Sorry, he, he walks home from the garage and goes and gets his dogs. They're adorable. So yeah, he won't be there till two o'clock. So I'm aiming to be there about quarter past. I don't want to be there right in his face like, "Oi, <laughs> fix my bike now!" <laughs> Even though I think he's seen my frustration of going there now four times and just constantly, "Yeah, sorry, partner. Yeah, sorry, partner." I really hope the parts here today, but um, I didn't phone him beforehand. I probably should have. Luckily, he's on the way home, so if he doesn't have the part, I, I just go straight home. It's not, it's not out my way. But God, I want the bike fixed because the weather's starting to get good again. And right now, it feels like my suspension's drunk at the front. It, it's just constantly wobbling about, and it's, it, it's oil getting on the front left caliper and on the disc and on the wheel. It's like it's a bit sketchy. Uh, again, if both if both seals went, I wouldn't be riding right now. I'd have booked some time off work and you know taking it straight to him. Just because one's gone, I still have one as backup. So I have a bit of suspension, but it is kind of horrible and cluggy and uh, <laughs> it's not fun. I don't know if I record all of myself here. I may skip forward a little bit because it's not an exciting trip. I'm just going down the A31 or whatever it is. I mean, it's A31. I'm really shit with like. I don't get how people can say, oh yeah, you just take this road, this road, and that road. And like they name every road, they know the numbers, and I don't. <laughs> I know how to get to places, but I don't know how, like, what road it is. Uh, it's just that one. It's, it's the road that took me there. I don't know how people remember all the road names. The only road names I know are the A331 and the A31 because 
it's my work commute every day. I've seen it enough times now, it's like, oh yeah, I can remember that. Uh, is he gonna leave enough gap to squeeze by? It's potential, it's potential. Space was afforded. We're trying using the, rear, using the rear brake more as well, so I don't nose dive as much because I'm guessing that squirts more of that. Um, to mixed results. I had a few lock ups, but hey. That's part of the fun. Do, 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 do. Oh, another thing, so I was thinking about making videos a bit shorter, so I saw my um, previous videos are like 14 minutes, 17 minutes, there's some, I think there's some into the 20s. Uh, I'm going to leave this one fully just... He wants to take me, yeah, go on. It's a 50, I'm moving 50. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this one just as is, and I just want comments basically. Do you like the videos being just basically raw? 20 minutes, 25 minutes, or would you rather me just sort of start recording midway and then make it a 10 minute video? Obviously the longer trips like Mayday Run and if I go to Ace Cap when there's an actual sort of gathering event going on, those I'll be able to do a lot more with, uh, like edit editing wise. But for stuff like this, would, would you rather I cut out the middle bit, like fade to black, fade back in when I'm a bit further down the road? I like to hear it, I like to know. Because, I mean, me personally, I watch like The Bearded Mechanic and um, Premises 187 and bloody. Uh, I don't really watch many of my vloggers. Uh, who else? My Bearded Mechanic's not my vlogger, he does, he does sort of mechanic videos. But what I'm trying to say is, I don't, I don't mind sort of 30, 40 minute videos. I'll, I'll happily get a drink, sit down, and that'll be my evening. But I know some people probably can't stand sort of that kind of length video. the Audi but it may involve some speedo blurring. It's gonna involve some speedo blurring. Oh come on this e-golf. <laughs> yeah the Audi thinks he's the bollocks. Come on e-golf sod off. Oh my god do you know what lane you're in? Let's go show him what a bike can do, even with one strut. Virgil, move the fuck out of the way. That's our friend again. Back. Sorry about that. I just really hate people in Audis who just like you can see him. He was in the left lane, then pulled right. He was he was being a bit of a yob. <laughs> this bike puts an end to that pretty quick. <sighs> Not that I broke the speed limit. Though. I was doing 70, 70 all the way. Maybe at the mechanic. I've already cut the video a bit before the mechanic because I don't know if he wants to be recorded. I know I'm just going to pull up there and stuff, but uh, but yeah, that's just been a little update video. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far. And again, just let us know if you sort of you want me to carry on waffling for 20 minutes, or you'd rather me just sort of get a trailer for and do 10, 15 minute videos, or you know how much how much of me can you tolerate before you start getting annoyed? Because I can't tolerate much of myself, to be fair. <laughs> For those watching this, wondering if I should get a ZZR 1400 or a ZX 14, just do it, man. I was looking at ZX 6 as like I mentioned a few uh, vlogs ago. Just, uh, I can't do it. This bike's too much fun.
maybe it's an X10, but even then, like why? Anyway, that, that's enough waffling. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully I'll have a Hero 9 or a Hero 10 by then. Maybe I'll be fitting the fairings, who knows? But something will be happening, there'll be another video. Goodbye.